Yo, what's good? It's Sony Entertainment TV, and I'm gonna I'm gonna explain one thing real quick. I know a lot of you click off during this part because I'm explaining something. I'm not actually playing the game, but I'm gonna do it real quick. I swear. I know it usually takes me five minutes to explain anything, but I'm gonna do it quick. Um, I am recording this video same day as episode two that will be going out. So this is episode three. Um, I just I was so excited from the loot run that we had. It was so great. Um, I was like, I, I I have to get back into this. I have to play again. Um, so if you give me any tips or suggestions um, or a, or explain to me what is cheating and what's not and I don't get to it in this episode, well, that's because I won't see your comments because the episode two won't be posted until tomorrow, uh, which I know sounds a little confusing. But basically, I'm recording the same day and I will not see your comment, but I will see everything that you've told me by episode four. So any tips or tricks or anything I will have seen by episode four. So today what we are going to do is um, we're going to go to this area. For those of you who don't know, um, this is pretty much the map of Dead Frontier. So you can know like how to loot and whatnot. And they have the different areas all mapped out. This is the blue area, which I've pretty much stayed in uh, for this, you know, this majority. I've been here, here, and here. So today... And y'all know how long it took me to walk. Today we're going to go all the way over here. And the, this is for levels 11 through 15. And it has a slight increase in loot quality, low risk zone, and minor caution required. Now, um, in the last episode, we got the free P90. We got the fucking sports armors. It was, it was nasty. It really was. Um, so I'm going to take this out like so and it says it's for levels 11 through 15 but we're 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 level eight we're we're big boys okay we're big boys we're gonna we're gonna get through this yeah i don't need any fucking thing to tell me while i wait for this to load let me take a sip of my water and make sure that the logo is blocked so you can't see it oh. oh my god excuse me okay see you boys I'm going, I'm going hunting. I'm going hunting real good. We're going to see a lot. Now, I have been upgrading my, uh, you know, I probably, motherfucking son of a bitch. I'm going to be right back. Fuck are you looking at, bitch? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway. Um, as you can see, I have the 57 equipped, the fire poker, and the FMP90. Sorry, I went to, uh, I went back to the outpost because, um, I wanted to, since we're going to a new area, which I, you know, hopefully will get better loot at, I cleared my inventory, um, all except for a couple of bullets, so that way I can defend myself. Um, I only gave myself 1,600 bullets because I... I feel like, oh, a mastercrafted hunting knife? Oh, hell yeah, take that already. I feel like I'll get, you know, if I need bullets, I'll probably find them in pretty good fucking supply over there. So, um, shout out to any of you guys who, like, watch this series. I know some of you are completely enthralled, you know, in this series specifically because it's like, you know, one death and that's it. Um... So it adds a little bit of, like, pucker factor whenever I run right up to a fucking zombie because I just can't help myself. Um, shout out to you guys. This is gonna be a long, this is gonna be a long episode. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a lot of fucking walking to get to this place. Um, and shit, who knows what we're gonna do when we get there. And there's going to be, there should be more zombies when I get there. I don't know if there's going to be new zombies. I don't know if there's going to be like spitters and whatnot. But there should be an increase in the volume of, uh, of zombies. But hopefully, I'm hoping we find something good. I'm going all the way out this way because I'm hoping we find either like a beta RX4, which isn't, like it's not great, but... To start a rifle class, I would rather find one than buy one. I'm hoping we find something like a Beta RX-4 or like, uh, y you know, a, a different kind of armor like a flak jacket or something like that. A Zylon, uh, Zylon vest, nest, vest, clest, whatever the fuck it's called. Breast. Um, I'm hoping 
we find something good. Now, I mean, the last episode was absolutely crazy. I still can't even find the words. Oh my god, see, y'all, y'all. I can't even find the words to explain the how crazy the last episode really was. It was just fucking insane. Uh, I mean, I know there's a 200% weapon and armor loot chance, but my god, to find four armors? Holy shit. Still stuck on that shit. Uh, by the way, you guys will never see me cross my eyes. I figured when I did this, some of you might have expected to see me. I can't cross my fucking eyes. I can't do it. I, I just can't do it. it. It's not something I've ever been able to do. It's, you know, I'll cross my eyes. People tell me, oh, look at your own big ass nose. I try that, my dude. I can't do it. I just can't. So you'll never see me cry. I mean, I could try. <laughs> I just can't do it. Like, I want to push them in the shit. <sighs> I can't do it, man. Can't do it. Um, But not only am I going to this new area to hopefully find some better loot, I'm also going there because there should be an increase in the volume of, uh, of zombies. And there should be a lot more of them so I can gain a lot more experience being down there. Oh, zombie up there? No? Okay, fine. I thought I thought I thought my boy Rupert was up there. My boy Rupert. Um so both of my guns do take the same ammo. Let's just check this out real quick. Ten shots, huh? Seven shots for them? How many for this? About eight shots. So it really doesn't do a difference. It really doesn't make a difference, you know, what you do, but, um, sounds like it's raining outside. Uh, I was doing a little bit of research on the pistols and whatnot, and it turns out that other than the Beta Tomcat, there's three pistols. I don't remember both of, uh, all three of them by name, but one of them is the, the 57. There's three pistols after the Beta Tomcat that all do the same damage. It's like 23 damage, roughly per shot and the 57 was one of them the only pistol that starts to do more damage than those three is the lock 19 and i was going to buy one but alas i do not think my uh it was either too expensive or my pistol damage or my pistol uh proficiency wasn't high enough so i didn't get one otherwise i would have gotten one because i believe it takes nine millimeter and i have plenty of that i found 800 plus in the last episode so um, but, uh, yeah, so I was checking that out, and then, you know, I checked out some of the stats on the submachine guns, and the, uh, I, th I believe this is one of them, the Williams PPK, I believe that's also one of them that does the 23 damage. Um, I was doing research on these, and I felt like I was, uh, I thought he should have swung on me, I thought I was a little too close. Um... The P90, it does decent damage, but the MP5, it's like, when it comes to submachine guns, once you get, there's like three before the uh, P90, you know, it's like, you know, the fucking, uh, the little hand ones that you that you see, uh, I'm trying to remember the names of any of them, but I, I just, I seem to get like a, a UMP, you know, something like that. Um, they do pretty low damage, um, and then you get to the P90, which is a slight increase, and then you get to the MP5, which is a much higher increase, um, and I would have also bought an MP5, but it took 9mm, and um, they were expensive over at fucking Nasty's Hideout, so I just kind of skipped right past that, didn't even worry about it. Okay. All right. And I would have walked to this area, you know, just on my own without recording. But you guys said you wanted to see everything. And I can't walk this many spaces without fucking killing a zombie. And when you tell me, yo, solely, I want to see everything, I'm going to show you everything. Watch when I bend the fuck over and I show you my, my lemons too. And I ain't talking about the fruit. Yeah, so I'm just I'm gonna show you guys every last thing, every little detail that goes into it. Buying things, 
uh, selling things unless I put them on the marketplace obviously I'm not going to record until they get bought out but um, you know like if I scrap anything in the shop I will be recording that oh here's some ammo I'm back up to pretty much where I started um, you know, I'm just going to record everything. Me running to places, which will take less and less time uh, as time goes on because I will be upgrading my agility and, you know, whatnot. And I will be getting armor that will uh, have agility points in it. So, you know, stuff like that is, is fine. And I know I said in the last episode, I said, you know, I asked if you guys thought that anything would be cheating, you know, out of, like, the credit shop and whatnot. And, I again, I'm not going to be able to see it because this is recorded same day. But I'm going to kind of niche that, uh, that assumption just because if I want to godcraft anything, I feel like that's legal and that requires credits. I mean, I guess technically I could just sit, loot and save up the money to buy the credits and I technically wouldn't have to buy them out of the credit shop or I wouldn't have to buy the credits to get it um so maybe that's how I'll do it I mean the question still stands but obviously I'm going to you know if I if I have an armor that I really like or whatever I'm gonna god craft it um but I I, I just have trouble god crafting things because if it's an armor it costs five hundred credits and if it's a gun it costs two hundred fifty. Uh, I didn't know there was gonna be a boss. I'm just gonna run straight through, straight through, and hopefully everything goes well. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh god, I'm only fucking halfway through. Oh god. Oh, I'm so fucking slow. Oh no, I'm running out of energy. No! No! Get away from me! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm literally out of breath. I was holding my breath that whole fucking time. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to see where we're at. I'm going to see if we're in the area yet. Oh, oh my God, I'm sweating. Okay, so I checked the map and uh, I have to go two to the right um, or I could go uh, I could go two down or one right and one up, but I figured I'll just stick in a straight line for now and I'll just go straight. I wonder if I got like a decent amount of experience for shooting those, uh, those Santa bosses. I am not ready for that, son. I can tell you that much right now. That I am definitely not ready for. So... I'm gonna need a little bit more agility before I take them on, cause I think I could kill Santa with the with the P90. But then again, he explodes, so I'd have to make sure. Ooh, we're already finding better stuff now, y'all. We're finding the antiseptic spray. I'm not gonna take it, only because there is a 200% weapon and armor loot, and since I'm in a, you know, I'm going to better places, I'm hoping we find better weapons and armor, and I hope we find them as frequently as we did, like last episode. That was crazy. Um. But that was, oh my god, that was, I was this close to death. I was definitely gonna die. I, I, I was running out of fucking, ooh, come here. I need the experience, dog, I'm sorry. If I didn't need it, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to kill you, man. I'm just sorry, you know, it is what it is. Sucks to be you, nerd. While this loading screen loads, I'm gonna take a sip of my water, make sure I cover the logo so you can't see it. Shit. I thought that guy was going to come after me. Okay, so the volume of zombies is already going up. I'm already starting to see more zombies than I did before. Oh, what is this building? I've never seen this this like kind of building before. That nasty, butt-ugly, green-looking color. <laughs> okay. 
What do we got? 0.32? Always going to take it because I'm always going to use it. Uh, well, at least right now, I'm always going to take it. I'm so close. I can fucking smell it. I like the knockback on this P90, though. It's keeping it's keeping most things at bay. I'm going to take that just because, you know, if I do get a gun uh, uh, that requires 9mm later on, it'll definitely be useful. Yeah, this the the knockback on this gun for these zombies is crazy. Um, if I could recommend a couple of things when starting a new account, I would definitely, uh, you know, when I said I had to go, you know, get rid of some stuff from my inventory, I didn't sell it. I just put it on the marketplace for a price that I knew nobody would ever buy it um, from because I want to keep the stuff that I put on the marketplace. And, um, oh, we got a little bit of an aggro spike going. Okay, I see you. No problem. I'll take care of it. I've dealt with a lot worse than this, trust me. Uh, yeah, I would just recommend putting it in the marketplace for an absolutely ridiculous price. So that way you can keep it, uh, you know, it's kind of a way to get around the whole storage problem. Because they only give you five storage slots to begin with. And then they're going to charge, oh my god, it got really fucking serious really quick. Uh, I'm going to take on some of these guys just because I want to, I need that experience, you feel me? But yeah, it's kind of a way to get around the, the whole storage problem because they only give you five fucking storage slots. So, you know, but you have, it, it's not an infinite amount of storage in the marketplace. Uh, you do have a limited amount, but it's a lot more than fucking five items. I can tell you that much. So just a, just a kind of little tip kind of trick thing to, to, you know, open up storage. You know, you got more storage than you think in the beginning of the game. And I definitely would stick to the main area. Um, I probably wouldn't do what I'm doing just because, you know, I'm trash and that's why I make trash decisions. Always remember that. 2020, I'm trash. <laughs> That's the first thing I said to myself in 2020 was, I'm trash. Uh, as soon as that fucking ball dropped, boy, I went to go to go to sleep, and I just the first thing I said was, I'm trash. So we're still finding Stary Strips, which is fine because I believe that they are, they're a, a good product until you're such a, you know, such a level. Now, I wonder how leveling up in Dead Frontier works. Is like, if I have 100% experience, am I now technically... Because I left at level 8. If I get to 100% experience, am I now technically level 9? Or do I not become level 9 until I go back to the outpost? And then, does that keep going as you go further? You know, if I get to another 100%, am I, level, am I technically level 10? Or does it not work like that? Dog food? Okay, okay, alright, you know, don't really need it. Do I look like a dog to you? Bitch, no, but, you know, boys gotta eat, I guess. 9mm, yeah, that's the last I'm gonna take of it, though, because that is a lot of 9mm that I have already. Uh, and it should be plenty for if I get a gun further, you know, in the future. Handgun ammo, always gonna take it, because I'm, I'm gonna need it, evidently. I am at 600 bullets. Definitely going to stick with agility, though. I'm going to keep that agility going just because, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be useful. Oh, I reloaded at the wrong time. That's fine. The fucking the knockback on this gun, dude. Absolutely disgusting. So, I mean, like, if I can... If you're going to be... If you're going to start a new account and you're going to... Uh, you're going to go machine guns, I definitely recommend the P90, man. I mean, well, they were a little expensive. They were eight grand. I mean, obviously, you got to work your way up to it, but, you know, I mean, if you get lucky like me, you just get one for free, but uh, if you can get, if you start a new account and you're on machine guns and you can afford the P90, I would definitely go for it. Ammo's cheap. It does a decent amount of damage, and it the knockback on it is super, super good. Uh, I'm actually just trying to find a building to loot, you know, 
so that way I can start looting instead of having to run around and find places to loot. Do we have buildings over here? Like, do they own buildings in this section of town, or is it like the ghetto? Where everybody just kind of rents. Plasters? Okay. Which is nothing wrong with that, you know? I've been renting my whole life. I am currently renting. I just know where I stand in life, you know? I'm not going to pretend like I'm super bougie when I'm not. I don't even want to be bougie. I don't want to fuck buy a Gucci, buy Gucci slides. Like, what the fuck am I going to buy Gucci slides for? I can get a pair of Dita flip-flops for fucking 20 bucks. You're going to pay fucking $800 for some Gucci slides? Fuck out of my face. Nerd. It's all just marketing strategy, so you'll empty your wallet. Okay, here we go. I still haven't got hit yet, y'all. I hope y'all are proud of me. Especially y'all who've been watching for a long time. You guys know just how bad I am. This is like a miracle that I haven't gotten hit yet. And I should probably stop saying that because I'm probably going to get hit uh, very, very soon. If I continue to say that. Oh my god, I just destroyed that guy. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Are you coming in through the door at me or like through the back door? Don't come through the back door. I don't like the back door. Okay. Nothing. There is a way to get in here. I've done it several times. I think you have to have a certain speed though. Because it doesn't look like it's going to work for me necessarily. So we're going to skip right past it then. That's probably like a bioreactive. Um, one thing I wanted to say about looting is your level does matter only up to 45 though. So if you were like level 20 and you went to Sekronon Bunker, you're not going to find... Uh, you know, you're not gonna find a fucking boomer PDX or anything like that. You're gonna find baked beans and, you know, shit like that. Until you become above level 45. Once you become above level 45, then it doesn't matter. You can find whatever you want. Which was news to me. Um, I knew that there was a, uh, a cap on, like, what you can loot for your level. Ooh, a Colt Python. That's really good. They're expensive. Yes! Such a good decision maker. Um, I know that, uh, yeah, like, I knew that there was a cap for it, but I thought that it was, like, if you wanted to loot something, like, a level 120 loot, everybody calls it 120 loot, like a Scar 9000 or something like that, everybody calls it a 120 loot, or, you know, a legendary or whatever, I thought you had to be above level 120 in order to get that loot, no, no. You could be level 40 fucking 6 and find a Scar 9000. It'd be the best fucking day of your life. I'm going to take those wooden planks just because if I can get nails and a claw hammer, I'm just going to barricade. Why would I go all the way back to uh, that place when I could just barricade here? I don't plan on going to a new outpost yet like Dog Stockade or Fort Pastor. But, no point in me going all the way back there if I can just barricade here. But I'd have to find a one-door loot, though, which doesn't matter because the uh, the map that I have shows me uh, places that are one-door barricades. I said one-door loots. One-door barricades. This is the same fucking building? Well, yeah, this can't be the same building, right? It doesn't. No, no, it's not the same building. There was just no loot downstairs. What the fuck was that? It was like really weird. It was like it had. It didn't have two back doors when I was in it. So why the fuck has it got two back doors now to get in the same place? That doesn't make sense. Stair strip. I'm not gonna take that. Colt Python though. That was a good loot. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to kill you just because I'm going to test out this fire poker. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Damn, eleven fucking shots. 
I should have checked out melee before I, I, I came back and did this. I'd have bought a better fucking melee weapon. I got that master crafted hunting knife. Ooh, I should just equip that just because it's gonna have it's gonna boost up my stats. Even if it's not much, because like I don't ever find good master crafted items. Ooh No, I'm sorry, I can't take it. I am gonna put that on. Usually the master crafted items I find are like plus three reloading and plus one fucking critical hit. Like, I've never found a Master Crafted item that had all three things on it. Watch, this one's going to be one of them. Nope, just plus six accuracy, that's it. Which is fine, I guess, because I could use the accuracy. It'll help me with my, with my P90 here. Yeah, I it, usually I just get nothing when it comes to master crafts, but uh, I wonder, can you find god crafted items? I, d I definitely never fucking have. And if you find a god crafted item, you know how it says master crafted hunting knife? Does it say god crafted hunting knife? That would be some shit. You're telling me I got a 200% cash loot there, and it was only $66? Hmm, so I found $22, and they multiplied the 22 by 200%, which would be 66, right? I'm not a fucking idiot, if you, because 200% isn't times 2, you know, because in that case, it would have been 44, and it would have had to have been 33 in order to get to 66, but 100% of 22 would be 22, which would make it $44, and then 200%, of 22 would be 66 22 and 22 that's the way i see it that's the way my brain works but then again you know i i i failed the third grade so um me not very smart Ooh. whoa i almost I, I i i thought i almost got hit there I'm just waiting for the first strike. I wonder who it's going to be. If any of y'all have made it this far, and I know some of you have, and I say that all the time only because I want you guys to... That's kind of like the... the Not like the wake-up message, because I know that most of you who watch my videos, you do watch and you are like attentive to it, but um, kind of like the alert. You know, when I say if you guys have made it this far, you know I'm going to ask something of you. You know, um... So, if you got... Oh, my God. This door is off its hinges. Okay. Um, if you guys have made it this far, what do you think is going to be the first thing that hits me? I already made it past Santa Claus, motherfucker. So, you know... I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, but, yeah, I want, yeah, want to know what you guys think is going to be the first thing that hits me. Based off of everything that hits me in the, like, that's hit me in the past, everything that you've watched, what do you think is going to be the first thing that hits me? I think it's going to be a spider. Or a dog. Not these dogs, because these dogs are pretty slow, but, like, the quicker dogs, I think it's going to be one of them. Because it's going to take a while for me to get to Sekernon Bunker, and I'm probably going to get hit before then. And, I mean, I don't have such a hard time dodging the bigger exploders because I can fucking see them. Um, but with those smaller guys, I, I can barely fucking see them half the time. And I just run right the fuck into it. Like a banshee out of fucking hell, man. Just Like a hot dog down a hallway, I just slip right the fuck in there and just get fucking blown. I'm at 80 out of 100 on my nourishment. Wonder what that means. <laughs> that means I'm getting hungry. And I probably should have took those tin spaghetti, that tin spaghetti, and just ate it. Because, like, I wasn't going to sell it, but I should have just ate it. Come here. Fuck! Okay. Away we go. 395. Okay. I have 445 bullets so far. Not to mention the 20 I have in that gun. And then, you know, then the, the hunting knife, if need be. 20 gauge, I don't need it, man. I really don't. But if you want to give me a rifle, that would be cool. 
Because that's what I think I'm going to make the, this character in the beginning. I think I'm going to make him... Um, I want to do... I don't know what I'm going to make him now. I mean, like, machine guns and rifles for sure. But... I don't know what the third one's going to be. I don't want to do melee, because I'm always a fucking melee character. And I can't get the bloody machete, so it's like... I could do dual blades, which somebody commented that. I could do dual blades, but... I don't know. They have a Nodachi in Nasty's hideout for fucking like 50,000. Ooh, Fire Axe, hell yeah. For like 50,000, which is pretty inexpensive for a Nodachi. I just don't have 110 melee skill, nor do I have 55 fucking thousand dollars. So, that's definitely going to have to be a weight item. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna run out of bullets before I killed them. Plasters, dang, give me, give me, don't need them. Don't need them. What are you looking at, scrub? Oh, miss me. <laughs> Fucking nerd. Fucking nerd. So I'm having a lot of fun uh, recording this gameplay. I hope you guys are having fun watching it. Um, don't worry, Road to 325 will be coming. Um, I'm just having, I'm having so much fucking fun with this account. I'm gonna have to create another account to do Road to 325, and that's gonna be fucking fun. I doubt I'm gonna have as much luck as this fucking, this character. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and state right now that on the Road to 325, I'm not going to record everything. A, a lot of people underestimate just how long it takes to get to 340, to 345, 325. It takes a long fucking time, like a really long time to get to 325. Um, so I'm going to record quite a bit, you know, a lot of grinding and whatnot. But like looting and whatnot, I, I, I don't see why that should be a part of a 325 gameplay. But if you guys think that I should do a little bit of looting and whatnot, then I will definitely put it in. But um, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, I don't really think that you need to have looting in a kind of a level up scenario, you know, trying to get to 325 and whatnot. So, <sighs> won't be a whole lot of that, and it's going to take a long motherfucking time. But once I get there, I'll have the X dust shop, and I'll get to buy things from there. That'll be cool. I've never had that before. I've never had the normal dust shop before. So that ought to be cool to have. Even at even at 220, 220 is a little bit harder to get to too. Like, but it's not going to be anywhere fucking near as hard to get to. Yes, another thousand dollars in the bank. It's not going to be anywhere near as hard. Uh, to get to 220 as it is fucking 325. Like, the jump from 220 to 325 is just disgusting. Golf club? Yeah, I'll take that too. I'll take it all. As long as it's a weapon or armor. Found that Colt Python. Uh, that should be worth some dough. Should be. I'm hoping at least a thousand for it. Um, but it might even be more than that. Yeah, so road to road to three twenty five is coming. Um, I'm just I just have to get it started, and then you know there are some people that want to play along with me, so I'm gonna have to kind of get them involved. And I mean, like obviously they're not gonna be by my side every time I record, because you know a lot of you live in different countries, and we have different time zones, and then work, and then just getting Dead Frontier to cooperate in general. Obviously, they're not going to be with me every single time I record, but uh, they do want to, you know, kind of walk alongside me, and, and, and we'll be playing together, and we'll see who gets to 325 first, which probably won't be me, because I'm a busy, busy mugga fugga. I've actually recently thought about um, donating my time to... Uh, just any any kind of thing that that needs you know helpers anything that needs help I've been thinking about donating some of my time to uh, you know animal shelters or like drug rehabs if they need some people to just kind of come in and talk to the the, the druggies um, you know something like that I've been thinking about donating some of my time to 
Uh, but who knows? I have to figure out how to even like get involved with something like that. Like, do I Google it or do I go to church? You know, don't know, don't know how I'm gonna get that started. But uh, I, I really do want to donate some of my time, do something positive, because uh, the world is full of negativity, including my life. Um, a lot of negativity, but you know, if I can find a way to help other people physically, and then I help you guys. Oh hell yeah! You know, I help you guys on YouTube, and, and, and I get to play the games and whatnot. Um, so I, I feel like it would it would fill a, a very big void I have in my, you know, in the time that I have to just think about nothing. Just sit there and just stare at the wall. Wonder what the fuck I'm going to do next with my life. I believe that's it. I believe that's it. Armor's full now, or, or inventory's full, so... I'm going to head back. You know what? I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to check the boss map just because I don't want any more fucking surprises when I come back uh, to the game. So I will be right back. Okay, so it looks like the boss is still there. The Santa boss is still there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one up to try to avoid him. And then once I get around him, I will go back down. And the outpost is currently... That was so close. That was so close. The outpost is currently under attack. So hopefully I can make it back to get squeeze a little bit of that in. But then again, I'd have to get ammo and whatnot. Because I don't have any fucking ammo on me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to avoid him. And then the outpost is under attack. So maybe we can, we can do some fun little grinding with the outpost attack. If... I make it back in time. If not, I'll just sit on here for like a day and just wait for fucking uh wait for the outpost to be under attack so the way I can play it. Ooh. I should have went to this area. This has got these cool new zombies in it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eat it, bitch. God damn. It's got these zombies with the cool health in it. Oh, I've seemed to have attracted some uh aggro. Which is fine. I'll just leave the area. It's fine. No, no, no. Cool, chill, chill, y'all chill, damn. It ain't that serious. Trying to save my energy so I can run a little bit sometime soon. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's fucking aggro city, apparently. I just got aggro fucking everywhere. Oh, God, I really don't like these dogs. They're slow, but, I mean, in packs, they, they could definitely be dangerous. Get away from me, nasty little bitch. Oh, God. I probably shouldn't have used all of my ammo. I'm gonna try and loot this. Maybe I'll get lucky and find some point thirty two. Come on, baby. Oh, nothing. What? Come on, I need to do fucking... Nope, not worth it. Not risking it. Not risking it. These dogs, their fucking hitbox is like... This fucking long. You could be a mile away from those fuckers and they'd still be able to bite you. Well, I'm definitely going to want to save up energy until zombies start running at me. Once they start running at me, then I'll I'll take the fuck off. Seems, uh... Seems normal right now. Okay, I think... I think we're good. I had a little aggro spike for a second there. That was n definitely not a good thing. Um, I'm gonna go probably two or three more over, and then I'll go. I'll go down. We'll see how many times we leveled up, and then maybe if I can quickly get my hands on some ammo, I can participate in the outpost attack. Maybe. You never know. Antibiotics? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Take them. Might as well. I hope that's not an omen. I hope I don't get hit. So that way I have to, like, use them or anything, you know. Ooh, the outpost attack might be tricky. I mean, they're all going to be shit zombies, right? Like, you know, there's not going to be anything too serious. Remember when they used to do the, um... 
I don't know if, if any of you guys remember this, but they used to do outpost attacks that were like based on something, like flaming zombies. And if you killed the zo the flaming zombie, not only did you get the experience from it, but you got to loot them and they would give you like Oh no, mama, I can't leave that behind. I hope I kill this guy within the next five seconds. Nope, I fucking didn't. God damn it. I can't leave that behind. Are you fucking on drugs? Yeah, I'm gonna discard those plasters, my boy. Oh god, now I gotta kill this fucking guy too. You know what, maybe I can just... Yep, <laughs> that'll work. That'll work for me. Uh, yeah, they used to do, they used to do those kinds of events, and you would fucking, you would kill the zombie, and you would get, uh, uh, I think it depended on the level, maybe, but most of the time, you would get, like, $500, $5,000, even. Where did that go? Bring that back, Dead Frontier. Make that a thing again. That was fun. I don't know why they ever took that away. I don't know if it was for like a special event or what, but bring that back and make the bosses different for each, you know, outpost, you know, like Nasty's Hideout, make that a flaming zombie. Dog Stockade, make that a titan. Precinct 13, make those flaming titans or flaming wraiths. Sacronon Bunker, obviously, I mean, like not a black titan because, you know, I don't think you'd ever be, if you were somebody like me that just decided to haul ass up to Sacronon. I don't think you would ever be able to leave the fucking, uh, the area. <laughs> You'd get destroyed so fucking quick by that, by that guy. But, uh, yeah, bring that the fuck back. That was fun shit, man. Hunting knife? I have a mastercrafted one, so blow me. Fuck you. Oh, God, I fucking walk faster than these guys. I was kind of hoping that she would be just a little bit faster than me. So the way I could just keep backing up and hitting her. I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go one more over and then I'll go... I'm going to go down. Um, so how are you guys enjoying the series so far? Uh, if you've made it this far. Uh, let me let me know how you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, I hope you're enjoying. Because um, I'm definitely fucking enjoying. This is... So much fun. Oh, I gotta take it, y'all. I gotta fucking take it. I gotta get rid of something to take this ammo. Oh, I hate myself so much for looting while running. With no fucking inventory space. Yeah, if you'll notice, I have a... Uh, oh my god, this video is fucking 42 minutes long. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the fire poker just because it it's probably not worth as much as everything else in the inventory. Um... I have a 210% EXP boost. Uh, Dead Frontier recently released, like, you know, if you, uh, you know, attach your email to your account, then you can, uh, you can gain an extra 10% experience. So that's why I have that extra percentage. Um, and if you haven't done that yet, I definitely would recommend doing it. Because, I mean, you made the account with your email anyway, so why not just attach it? Yeah, I got quite a fucking ways to go to get down to down to there. Maybe maybe in the next episode we'll do a quest. That sounds like a good fucking idea. We'll do a quest in the next episode. You know, where I have to find someone or something or so many of something. That sounds like a plan, Stan. Now, you know what sounds like a smooth idea? I mean, they're not that expensive, but you could definitely make some money if you do this. Oh, I, I don't want to explain this. They have a quest in Sekernon Bunker where you have to find a certain amount of M16s. Now, you could make some serious cash off of these M16s. Well, first of all, you'd have to do it quick enough. But if you loot them, if you loot like eight of them and then go into an outpost and then store them 
Or maybe even just scrap them so the way you don't have them anymore. And then come back and loot more. I wonder if that would work. I feel like that would work because I feel like I've done it before. Ooh, hold on. Is there another loot down here? Yeah. It could be a sports armor, y'all. Or it could be a fucking corpse ripper. No, it's like you can't find those anymore. Why don't they do that anymore? Dead Frontier... I know, I know that the, a moderator watches some of my content. I don't know if he watches this far. Um, and I don't even know if he watches any more now that I, you know, I put that video out. Um, but moderator, person, guy, if you're watching this and you personally have any connection to Neil, ask him why he took that kind of shit away. Like, they released those corpse weapons, like the corpse destroyer and whatnot, and you had a very small amount of time to find them. And if you didn't find them, then that was it. You were fucked. Like, why is that still not a thing? They should be dropping new guns every so often and then doing that. Like, that would get so many more people playing the game. Like, oh, I gotta find it. Don't make it purchasable. Like, don't, you you know, don't buy it. Don't be able to buy it with credits. Just, if you loot it, you loot it. If not, sorry, it sucks to be you. Like, that, I don't understand why that's not a thing. And I don't know why they got rid of the boss events. And I don't know why I'm so fucking upset right now. Okay? But I am. I care about this game. I really do. And I like, I like new things to keep happening. And then they took away some of the good things, and now I'm ranting about it. Fucking eat me. And uh, speaking of eat me, while this loading screen loads, I'm going to cover this logo and uh, take a sip of my water. We're almost there. I can feel it in my gonads, y'all. We're almost there. Just a, just, a, just a couple more fucking feet to go. And we'll be there. And hopefully I've leveled up two or three times so I can really get some agility going. Because, man, am I motherfucking slow, son. But this wasn't a bad loot trip. Two sports armors, the Colt Python, uh, a couple of other like little melee items that I'll probably be able to sell for 300 some odd dollars in the uh, yard. Not a bad run. Really not a bad run at all. What do we got? Another area. Let me grab my water. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it that frequently. You know that would be stupid. Hello. 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 I don't know if the outpost is still under attack, but they're usually under attack for what, like 15 minutes or so, I believe it is? It's like 15 to 30 minutes. Somewhere along those lines. Oh, I'm out of fucking stamina. I'm over here spamming the shift button, and he's not running. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm out of stamina. So just that cold python, that cold python may have made that entire loot trip worth it. Because it might actually be worth some good, some good cheese. Stair strips and leave them. I mean, I don't know if I would go there again just because of how long it takes me to get there. I would probably, you know, just do the quest first, gain the experience, and then, you know, get the uh, the agility. But, I mean, hey. You know, I think that cold python might have made it worth it. I can feel it, you guys. I know this has been such a long video. Oh, oh, the outpost is still under attack. Hell yeah. I can get a little bit in. Go, 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 I don't want to... I don't want to worry about it right now, though. I want to get into the outpost so that way I can buy... I can get, get some more ammo and then take place in it. This is going to be a long-ass fucking video, y'all. And I know that some of... uh. You know, some of you guys are loyal and you do watch most of the videos, but I doubt you've made it this far. If you've made it this fucking far into the video, aww, 
event is over. Really, I got no experience for that. I did a little bit of work. I should have got like 15 points or something. If you've made it this far into the video, you should comment, I deserve a gold medal. And if you comment, I deserve a gold medal, I will give you a gold medal. Not literally, because I don't have that kind of power. But I will, like, in parentheses, I'll put gold medal or something like that. Something something like that. Just just out of stupidity. <laughs> just, just so I can know who has made it this far. So, again, if you've made it this far. First of all, the outpost is still under attack. I don't know why they're cheesing me right now telling me that it's not anymore. Um, but, yeah, if you've made it this far, comment, I deserve a gold medal. Because you do. I can't believe you've made it this far in the video. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, kill that bitch up there. Hold on, I wait. I want to see that. Oh, please tell me I leveled up two or three times. I killed a lot of fucking zombies, and I shot Santa Claus in his mate. Okay, I leveled up three times. Not bad. Oh my god, I was fucking forty experience away from leveling up. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna keep doing machine guns just so we can get a better machine gun. Is the outpost really done being under attack? Okay, it is done being under attack. Fucking finally. I'm still getting these helper bot messages. Shh, shh, shh. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so we're going to go into the yard real quick. And we're going to... Just sell anything that I know isn't going to, like, sell for big money in the, uh... In the marketplace. These Williams PPKs, they're not really going to sell for much. The sports armors, I'm not going to get much for... Uh, they're all green, so really no difference there. Um, and then we're going to go check the price of this Colt Python and see if it was worth the excursion. I mean, I made four grand, but I could have easily have made four grand just going like one down. So please tell me this is worth some money. Here we go. The moment of truth. Hey. That's not bad, yo. I would buy that just to sell it for more, but because I don't have that kind of money to just be investing into things, I'm just going to sell mine for $3,500. There we go. As you can see, I have all this shit up here for ridiculous prices that nobody's ever going to buy because point thirty two is currently only $100. <laughs> so, you know. Not bad for that cold python. That cold python is pretty much worth the amount that I made in this fucking loot trip. So, that's not bad. Seven grand, just roughly uh, seven grand that I made on that loot trip. That's pretty fucking good, y'all. That's pretty good. Now, I still can't MC anything or anything like that, so... Uh, hopefully, in the future, I can continue to find more Mastercrafted items, but, you know, you never know. Um, but with that being said, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button. Definitely leave a comment, positive or negative. It doesn't bother me. I just want to see some feedback. And if you enjoyed that much and you don't want to miss what's coming next, you don't want to miss more of this, you don't want to miss the road to 325, or you don't want to miss any different content I might upload, uh, be sure to definitely go down and turn on post notifications so we go notified every time I upload a video because you're not going to miss what is next. Thank you guys so much for watching.